morning everybody I was uh, awoken at uh, oh, 10 minutes to 7 this morning by a phone call on this uh, Sunday sunny Monday morning to let me know that my bees were ready at the post office uh, yeah this is uh, rush hour traffic in uh, central Wisconsin um, small town living man but uh, so I am on my way to the post office to go pick up uh, my bees um, I received a, uh, a new invoice on Friday from Kelly bees and I did not know why they sent me an invoice and then they I called them and they told me that my bees were shipping on Saturday which shouldn't have been a surprise because that was the original ship date when I ordered my bees but uh, I wish they would have, uh, you know, I don't know, sent me a shipping invoice or something. That's usually how I get it. But I didn't receive anything on Saturday saying, hey, your bees have shipped, nothing kind of like that. But but uh, like I said, I should have expected it. But in today's world, I'm so used to getting ship notifications, uh, tracking numbers. Um, but uh, anyways, we're uh, on our way to the, uh, what a moron, to the post office to pick up the bees and we'll see what uh, kind of condition they are actually in when I get there uh, it's a little bit across town a little bit for me I got a one post office closer to me but that's not my post office unfortunately so um, let's see what uh, let's see what they look like when uh, when they get there kind of excited about it. it's a little cool out this morning uh, another another uh, sunny day here um, it's uh, been cloudy and cool the last oh, seven days, and the 10-day forecast doesn't look much better. Um, it's uh, the end of May, May 23rd, I think, and uh, or the 22nd, somewhere around there. Anyways, and uh, it's just the typical May rainy, rainy weather. It's too bad the bees can't, couldn't get out because there are literally flowers everywhere. And uh, and they haven't been able to go out and go out and forage, so you know that's just that's just too bad for them. But uh, uh, this package is going to be a little cold uh, to install today, so they're not going to be able to get out and do their thing. Hopefully, if it gets up to about 60 degrees, uh, they should be able to. Um, well, there's a cop up here, which is probably not a good idea that I'm filming while I'm driving, so I'm gonna. Turn this off and then uh, turn it back on when we get to the post office. So we have uh, arrived at the post office and I'm actually going to go into a area that says do not enter. Because they told me to come to the back of the post office to pick up my, my bees. So that's what I'm going to do. Wherever that might be. Exactly sure where I'm supposed to go here. Hello, I'm here to pick up bees. The bees? Oh my gosh. Oh, they, hurt, they don't hurt nobody. I'm over here. <laughs> hey, Sarah. Is everybody freaking out? Yeah, look at that. I don't know what it's on that cart. Oh. <laughs> That's how they came, huh? Oh. People usually, usually put them in a bucket. Thank you. 
Saturday. Good. And then I got another one from Saturday. Oh, okay. How are you today? Good. Good. All yours. Excellent. Thank you. Well, there they are. No handle, no nothing, huh? Boy, they don't give you much to work with, do they? They don't let you have handles or nothing, do they, huh? Separate. <laughs> Thank you. Well, they look healthy. There's a few dead ones on the bottom, but nothing too bad. So that's good news. We'll hopefully see how the queen looks. So the next time you'll see me, we'll be preparing to uh, install these in the uh, new hive. Okay, well, the bees are home here, and uh, we got it all set up for, uh, got all my tools I'm going to need for uh, installing this package. Kind of excited about this. Uh, the bees look in fairly decent condition, which is good. Uh, I see a few um, you know, bees have arrived from other hives to uh, visit. But uh, first thing we're going to do before I get started here is to... Uh, open up this this hive and I'm going to just spritz a little sugar water on these frames just to get them started here well, this is coming out in a stream which I don't like so, let's see if we can get it out in a spray. Nope. I don't want to drown the bees. I just want to spray them. So, I'm going to walk over here to my... Okay, we're back. I've got a sprayer that works just a little bit better here. Got them on my new hive stand that I built yesterday, actually. I'm going to tell you this, spray bottles do not like sugar water. I don't think there's anything you can do to help it. It's starting to come out. I'm going to scream again, even though this is a brand new spray nozzle. So it is what it is, I guess. I'm just adding a little bit of sugar water so they... Uh, to encourage them to start building comb on it, that's all. Now one thing I did forget, now this is a screen bottom, and uh, before I dump these beads out, I'm going to get the, the uh, coroplast uh, center, and uh, put it down the bottom so the bees don't congregate on the bottom of the screen uh, trying to get it trying to find a way into the hive I heard that that was uh, one of the uh, pitfalls of having a screened bottom so as soon as I can get that bottom board the better now I uh, had ordered a it was funny because I ordered a uh, hive stand with a one of those beveled fronts landing front and that actually would protect, and the bees can't actually get to that coroplast entry from here. Uh, however, beware of uh, who you get your orders from because uh, 
you know, they didn't ship it out until seven days after I even ordered it and just didn't arrive in time. So, you know, you got to do what you got to do. Um, yeah, some of these companies are pretty slow in the shipping uh, department for whatever reason. Um, I'm used to Amazon. I, sh I order it and uh, they ship it out either that day or the next day and I get it in two days. Uh, but uh, that's not so the case. Uh, and plus I get free shipping. And that's not the case with beast suppliers. Uh, the shipping charges are very extreme for them. So, um, okay, we got all the all the frames sprayed down, and uh, I'm just gonna go get to grab that coroplast uh, entry, and uh, we'll be right back. Okay, they call this a, a mite board. Now it's got. Uh, uh, a through P and 1 through 13 uh, and this is for mite count I guess uh, uh, so you can count how many mites fall in uh, per square inch uh, of, uh, of your hive and you can do a mite count um, so I'm gonna like I said I'm just gonna slide this in and also use this board for winter time Excellent. But I don't want the bees to go in here and get trapped and not figure out how to uh, get up um, into their hive, into the area here. So I am going to just duct tape this off. Uh, make sure that there's no... sticky part showing because I don't want to get any bees stuck to the tape. But I also don't want to have any holes in there. And then there's also a spot in the back to uh, cover as well. And this is just to get these bees started. I can remove this tape and that coroplast after a, a few days when the bees, uh, when the queen comes out and, uh, and they get used to their new hive. They know where everything is, but right now they're gonna be very disoriented, in my opinion. That's, that's to where they are and to before they establish their new home. And uh, I just wanna give them every opportunity to succeed here. And we're going to do so you look at that, I already got a bee, look at that, a bee was already trapped in there. Um, I, I, unfortunately, he ain't getting out. Um, that's what we were trying to avoid. Uh, so this is uh, somebody else's bee, obviously, and, uh, well, you know what, I'm, I'm one of those guys here. Boy, I, I just don't want to see anything get trapped in there. So I'm going to try to help him out. Come on, 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 come on. thing we're going to do is ha, look at that this came off huh oh well must have happened oh. we're not going to need our smoker today Set that aside. 
we got our high tool and the first thing we're going to do is and I have a, a little pair of pliers here is try to pry this up oh, let's see if we can get up So we're going to take our spray bottle and spray these guys down a little bit, just a little bit. No buzz and we'll tap them down just a little bit to get them down. And then the ones that didn't get, just spraying a little sugar water on them. That's it. Nothing big, no big deal. All right. Now that we've got that, all right, we'll take our pair of pliers, reach in, remove our can of syrup. up this is our clean cage so we'll get this out and we'll take a look at how the cleaner looks all right let's take a look at how the queen looks now you can see She's marked yellow, crawling around, healthy. So we've got a uh, we've got a good-looking queen. So we're just going to set her aside right here for now, and uh, work on the package. I actually can put maybe one more frame in here. But uh, let's get these boys down. We'll open this up and shake our bees out. Okay, we're going to set that there and then start installing our frames here. Let me step over here so you can see what I'm doing. Now this is a three pound package which estimates are that they were about Approximately 10,000 bees. I'm not going to put that many in. I started talking and I wasn't paying attention to what I was doing. So we're going to leave that out for now. Or actually, you know what? I'll put that in. Okay. This is kind of a neat experience for me. This is for my first package install. So we're going to install that. And the one thing I did forget was a... Uh, paper clip to hang this uh, queen cage from but uh, I'm not sure that I'm gonna need that I actually have my pair of pliers to remove the, the plug from the candy side whoops 
plug went in instead of came out. So that ain't good. Well, I'm gonna need a paper clip to go reach in there and grab that, so I will be right back. So that didn't take too long. I had one sitting in my my car. I was gone 30 seconds. So again, we're going to uh, go in the candy side here and I'm going to try to remove this plug. I don't know what I'm going to do here if I can't get this out because this plug actually went inside. There it is. Okay. I was trying to pull it out. There it goes. So all it is is just a little compressed sawdust or cork style plug. And uh, you can see the queen mark with yellow, uh, 2017, that's the year for yellow. So I'm going to stick my, tooth, my uh, paper clip all the way through the candy kind of giving the bees just a head start to the queen and they'll chew through this candy to get to the queen and release her and it might take hours it might take days uh, you know just depends but we'll come back in about four days and see if they released her but what we're going to do is stick this paper clip in there a little bit and I'm going to use this as a as a hanger of sorts and I'm going to place put it between the frames the frames together. Hopefully that, that'll, well, that ain't working. Well, that didn't work. Dropped her right in there. Need to go get her. So, I am going to just stick her between the two frames, force the two frames together. And hopefully she will stay in there. And I want the screen for her to be facing out so the bees can get to her. They can feed her or whatever through the screen. Uh, and it'll be easier for them to, uh, to get to her. So now we can think about closing this back up and, and giving them some feed. So I got my uh, top feeder here on. Now she's only been with the, the colony for about two days. Uh, they shipped her on Saturday, today's Monday morning. So her pheromones, I'm not sure. Ow, I think I might have just got stung, not sure. Yep, I did. Okay. We're going to put this over like that. And uh, uh, hopefully we can get this one out. There we go. So this is how I do it. And this is just so I don't spill too much accidentally into the feeder, but we're going to give them some one-to-one -one sugar water here.
with a little bit of Honey Bee Healthy in it. And that should get them started on their journey. Drop this in. These are uh, so the bees can actually uh, access the honey without drowning. This hive is alive, for sure. Very neat. Very neat. We'll put on our top cover. our inner cover and now our top cover and that's all there is to it we'll leave this out and the bees will find their way up to the hive they will get there before too long just gonna set that there but uh, that's that's interesting I uh, that's my first hive in or first uh, package install and uh, and uh, I learned, you know, a lot. So, um, you know, that, that queen, the candy, I was expecting the candy to be just a little firmer uh, to hold that paper clip in, and it wasn't. Um, so that's a learning experience. Dropping the cage in there, obviously, that's a learning experience. So... Uh, that uh, next time I'll be a little bit more, um, well, everything's an experience, so uh, you learn from each one. Uh, next time maybe I'll do something a little different. If I had, um, if I had uh, frames with comb in it already, I would have used that, and then I could compress the cage in the, in the soft comb, but unfortunately, being a new beekeeper, uh, I don't have any um, uh, built out uh, frames so that I could use so um, the bees are kind of on their own here so until next time boy I hope that duct tape doesn't trap too many of them in there we'll have to take a look at that as the day progresses and if they do get trapped in there I might have to just just pull that coroplast out altogether because they'll, they'll eventually find their way out but uh, Okay, well, until next time, happy beekeeping.